Hi everyone, um, this is just a really quick messy tutorial how I animated this little guy running right here. So the programs that I used for this, um, one being Procreate, it is $10 currently, it's a one-time purchase. I love it, I recommend it. The other program I used is a light motion and it's used for me compositing my animations. And then one more app I use, it's also on the internet, it's called Magic Poser and you can definitely use this as a reference so i used um it here and i'll show you how um so this very perspective pose of the our gentleman running here i did use um a reference in magic poser and that helped me gauge the keyframes that i'm doing so these right here these poses that i'm drawing out right now are the keyframes and then i'm doing the in-betweens so this is basically the process how I did it. I didn't think to like screen record. So bear with me as uh, I slow down this um, Procreate live video record thingy, whatever it's called. As you can tell, I did not rehearse this at all. So I'm just gonna kill time by, I guess, talking more about this. Um, I did do this drawing on a live stream a couple weeks ago on my TikTok. So just to show people exactly how my process is done, so it was this, this was a little tutorial, so I gave him a little bit of a crop top there for a second, some pink boots, but I was like, yeah, that doesn't work, and I'm too lazy to do anything else, really, so. Yeah, um, there he is running. Yep. Going in, adding some detail, just finalizing some stuff. Um, this is, I think, eight frames. I forgot how much I was playing it at, but I think it was only at 12 frames a second. Um, I try to do the minimum as possible. Um, but keeping it looking smooth at least at the same time, sorta, of, so. Yeah, so I, uh, the background is just a nice pretty blue that I took the colors from my reference sheet. I was kind of trying to gauge to see how I was gonna do the background, so I just kept it simple, and then added, added some atmosphere and motion blur to his limbs. So now I go ahead and uh, export everything and import it into a light motion. And before we get started here, I forgot to mention, you can, save your animations in like a transparent file and how you do that is like here um this video right here now where it's showing you saving it under atbc and once you do that you can then upload your animation um transparently instead of you having to upload frame by frame in a png format so that helps a lot so right here, I duplicated the part of him running, and then um, eventually I grouped it, which basically makes it all into one subject, but that's later on in the video. And I do want to pause it right here because I forgot to mention, you're going to have, if you want things to move on your screen, um, and a light motion gives you that option. So right here, you're going to have to select your item, and then it's going to pop up saying move and transform. And then a menu at the bottom right here is going to pop up. You'll see move, rotate, scale, and distort. So this is how I move my background and my characters independently in the animation. And this little plus sign in the diamond, this is your little anchor. Basically what this means is that you put the picture in a position and then anchor it there and then move your timeline and then add another anchor and then your uh, the app will gauge the movement. So. Um, I know that probably sounded very confusing, but you can see right here that dotted line on the screen right there. Um, that is basically the two anchor points and the app is um, filling in the rest. And let's see, I think this part right here, I'm gonna um, group everything, but yeah, this is a, this is how I like make my background move separately so I don't have to animate each frame. It like saves so much time when I'm animating. Oh, there it is. Um, so this part right here is where I'm just trying to group the running scene so I can just uh, compile it and make it more um, organized because unfortunately uh, in a light motion, you can't stack stuff next to each other. Everything is stacked on top of each other. So that's just a little bit of a frustrating part, but um yeah oh i accidentally missed that part at the top right corner but um as far as lighting goes you would just click under your blending and opacity and then go under lighten and then click uh, uh color linear i believe and that gives like a very bright 
effect and I use that for lighting so I don't have to worry about coloring over my characters or coloring the background in every single frame so this does it automatically for me which saves a lot of time and all that and there's different effects you can do like random displacement you can have it to where it looks like a um, like it's a handheld camera effect basically and yeah just kind of bounces around like that so that's how I did that animation this one right here um, it didn't take too long uh, but yeah super rush tutorial but that's how I do it see you guys thanks